A month has gone by since somebody killed 30-year-old Karina Vetrano near her home in Queens. Today, possibly a new clue. The NYPD released a sketch of a man they want to find to talk to in this murder mystery. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live in Howard Beach with more on what investigators are talking about. Ali. Well, Dana, police may have hit a wall in reviewing surveillance tape in this investigation, and now they're searching for a man seen outside the park on the day of Karina Vetrano's murder. Police are looking to talk to this man, not a suspect nor person of interest, but could possibly hold a clue in the death of jogger Karina Vetrano, August 2nd. This sketch was prepared by a uh, utility worker who was working in the area at the time and saw this individual uh, near, the, near the top of the park, the Spring Creek Park. Specifically along the bike pathway of the Belt Parkway on the north side of the park. Investigators are unsure if he followed the path towards East New York or Ozone Park, but describe a black male around 40 years old. Old, wearing a red t-shirt as well as a wool cap. So if you know this person, I think it's a little unusual you're walking around in August, in August with a cap on. Police have a DNA profile of the suspect but say there are no matches in the state or federal systems. Now, after holding this sketch for 10 days, police say they are releasing it to the public because they have to find this possible witness. We just question anybody who was there that day because it's on top of the park. That's the reason we're bearing down on this. Closing in on one month of investigations, neighbors are anxious for any answers. You go to any store, the signs are up, you know. And the only word I heard is people just hope that uh, the person, whoever did it, gets caught. Right now, between the NYPD and the Vetrano family's GoFundMe page, the reward for information has surpassed $300,000. We're live in Howard Beach, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Thank you for the update, Ali.